Hi, welcome again my dear students to this lab and this this is the second lab of our uh, ASI configuration for use uh, IBV6 labs. In this lab we are going to configure the IBV6 addresses for the uh, appliance ASA appliance and for the internal router and the external router which uh, used to uh, connect to uh, connect the network to the internet and we call it here ISP router so this side we will call it inside yes and this is the outside inside means inside the network the our the network and outside means outside the network so the appliance will separate the two networks the inside and outside network okay now let us start the configuration we will start the configuration for the appliance okay it needs some time to be ready okay now we are ready to start the configuration so first of all we need to enable it we don't have password so empty password then configure the terminal as we said the uh, g00 will be the inside interface and G01 will be outside interface so we are going to name these uh, interfaces starting by G00 we need to enable the IBV6 in it so IBV6 enable okay then we need to name it name interface inside okay this is the interface zero zero now it named as inside and the appliance already by default set the security level to 100 percent because it is inside now ibv6 address for this interface will be 200 colon colon 1 over 64 okay so no shutdown just to make it up that's all for the interface g00 we are going to g01 this interface we need to enable IBV6 as well okay then we need to name it in the interface as outside okay that is good now by default also the security level has been set to zero for the outside the IBV6 address will be 2A00 colon colon 2 slash 64 then no shutdown okay then exit now just to make sure we 
show the IBV6 interface brief to see okay now we have inside interface which which is zero zero and this is the addresses the IBV6 address okay now also we have outside interface which is zero one and this is the IBV6 that we assigned to it. That's all for the appliance. We are going now to configure R1, which is inside, inside the network actually. Okay, so configure terminal. Good. We need to IBV6 unicast, then IBV6 Ceph, this is for Cisco, then we go to interface F00, and we put the IBV6 address, which is 2001, colon, colon, 2, slash 64, here. Okay, sorry, zero zero one slash sixty four. Okay, that's good. No shutdown. End. We don't have uh, now at this level. We don't need to actually to configure the other interfaces because we will focus on this. The appliance configuration to be sure we are going to show the IBV6 interface brief okay we have this fast Ethernet 00 with this IBV6 address okay now we go to the ISP router here and start the configuration Okay, same actually. Conf terminal. Good. IBV6 unicast. Then IBV6 Ceph. Okay, then we go to Fast Ethernet 00. Interface Fast. Sorry, F00 the IBV6 address will be 2A00 colon colon 1 slash 64 okay then no shutdown then the this interface which is F01 we are going to configure it for IBV6 address and the IBV6 address will be 2B00 colon colon 1 slash 64 no shutdown end now to verify the configuration, show IBV6 interface brief. And we see now 2A00 for this interface, 2A00 colon colon 1 for this interface, and 2B00 1 uh, for this interface. Okay, now suppose that we want to check the traffic from this appli appliance to the inter to the network this interface is linked to the network is connected to the network so we are going to ping it ping 2b00 colon colon 1 we can see that is 
uh, we cannot ping this interface to B001 and the message is clear it shows no route to host to B00 colon colon 1 so we are going to create a static route to this interface but first let us show the IBV6 route in this uh, appliance you can see we don't have only local and connected local and connected so to create the i the root for ibv6 ibv6 root to outside and any uh, from any segment we should uh, root it this traffic to this address which is the address of this interface 2a00 colon colon 1 okay good let us show the IBV6 route now we have this is static route 00 slash 0 sorry colon colon slash 0 via this interface 2a00 colon colon 1 okay so any a traffic comes inside this appliance will be routed through the uh, outside interface which is here and will go outside through the ISP router okay let us do the ping again and see the result okay now the ping is succeed actually uh, and now uh, we finish the the first step of the basic configuration for the appliance thank you for watching and see you in the next video